Hey Aries, welcome to your reading for the second half of May. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month to my lovely loyal subscribers. Welcome back. And as you can see, different kind of setup because I'm trying to get the videos out to you guys as and when I can. You guys know I'm not at home. Um, so I'm just trying to still do the videos because when I'm not I don't feel like myself I don't feel in alignment when I'm not sending the messages out so I'm trying to do them and you may see different um setups and things that I do just while I'm away hopefully um it won't be for too much longer um and then I'll be back to some sort of stable setup um you guys know why <laughs> okay ice king here Aries so this is somebody being quite cold towards you they know you love them but they're being cold towards you giving you the cold shoulder um some I just said they chose a dog over me so somebody um has a dog they have a dog your person has a dog passion um let's see here union um they'll come back I just want to tell you right now they're coming back I'm going to tell you right off the bat here, they're coming back. They're playing this cool and collect, uh, collected thing. They miss you terribly. They miss you terribly here. Um, you will have this union. <laughs> uh, I'm laughing because um, they're just playing it so cool and like yeah i don't care about nonchalant and they're like i don't care about you and i'm not interested they do they just know that you care about them as well so they know i don't really have to act or anything like that because uh you know i'm just gonna play cool but actually look this is quite hot this passion um and the union so <laughs> just have patience just have patience i told you whatever it is they're coming here um i feel like the divine sending them messages planting them seeds within them um and they they really want to embrace you they can't wait to be back with you here i just have patience again <laughs> patience and planning um the more you try to chase them the more they run because it, it, it fills their ego here. So you just need to wait. You may have even been waiting a long time with this. It's the Seven of Pentacles, but it's the Eleven in this deck. It's the Eleven Eleven card. Um, so let me just tell you something here. There will be union and it may take some time because that ego is being fed because they know you still love them. Destiny. You seem destined. The destiny is on the union card. Let me show you guys. The destiny is on the union card. I told you, as soon as that I picked up that Ice King's energy, this I'm too cool for school or whatever it is they're doing. I mean, <laughs> that's why I don't do videos with my face in because I got, <laughs> because I'm just, my face talks, <laughs> talks more than me. You guys know I'm a Scorpio, so um, we're usually quite quiet um in the sense of giving our own information away but my face tells it all so i feel like this person who's being this cool and calm and collected underneath they're bubbling under the surface i wouldn't even be surprised if it's another um king of wands but showing up as the king of swords like trying to play cool but actually under the surface there's a lot going on a lot of feelings for you here and it's just like patience, patience. So like, wait, wait, not yet, wait. Uh, destiny will step in and bring you both into union. The chariot, destiny again. <laughs> um, lots of major arcana going on here to say, look, this will happen. Um, I don't even feel like you're worried about it either. So this is either you know them very well that they're playing this cool, calm person, or um, you're moving on and somebody new is coming in here who you're destined to be with. You're destined to meet somebody and they're, they're playing it cool. And like when you first meet somebody, um, but they are head over heels for you. Princess of Pentacles, that's if it's something new there. You're planting a huge seed. 
Okay, uh, this is something that's going to grow into all this greenery in, in the background here. So what we plant will grow. So plant good things um, because this is either a new relationship or um, somebody you're destined to be with. Um, coming in right now, they may be younger than you, maybe a younger earth sign. But there's that queen of wands energy. I was picking up on a wands energy. So some of you, it's another fire sign. Some of you, it's an earth sign here that um, is taking action towards you. I feel like if it's a new person, it might be the earth sign. Um, but however it resonates, um, because we do have all the signs generally come out in general readings. I leave information on how to contact me for personal readings in the description box. The star. Let me tell you something. The chariot is supposed to chase the star. So things are right on track for you guys. There's only one thing between and that's the person. And they're going to take action with the queen of wands. And you're destined to meet here. It's happening now. I think the last reading I did for you guys was called It's Time for Love. Um, so, yeah, if you haven't met them or they haven't come towards you yet, they're coming. You just need patience. Even if it's been a long time already, you've been single. Um, this is happening now. You've just got to embrace it here. Um, for some of you, um, this person might have a lot of air in their chart, and this is why they play this cool thing. So it can be like um, a Leo sun and an Aquarius moon or a Libra moon or something like that. Um, they seem to have this show for people like, I'm cool, I'm cool. I'm not, I'm not worried about it, but really deep in inside, they're bubbling here, like they wanna get to you. They're rushing here with the chariot. OK, um, they're practicing patience on the outside. You need to practice it on the inside. OK, four of cups. So you're not seeing this offer coming. It, it can be a person who's rejected you. It can be that you're just bored and discontented um, with your love life at the moment. But this is an offer you're not seeing coming. Um, Destiny is sort of going to make you two sort of bump into each other some of you even with a car i <laughs> hope not nine of swords so some of you are worried look i've been single so long i'm going to be single forever it's not the case here it's not the case um this is unfounded fear it can be even for some that i've waited for my ex for so long they're never coming back and then boom they come back and this is why you need to practice that patience it sort of um brings things in quicker to us, whatever it is we're trying to manifest. So just being aware of that. Okay, guys, uh, the Princess of Swords here. So this person is spying on you. If they already know you, they're spying on you. If this is somebody new, they want to get to know you with the Princess of Swords. So we call it the spying page, right? So this is somebody who wants to know everything about you. And I don't feel like you should worry about what you tell them because this fear is unfounded. You should share your most inner self with them and allow yourself to be vulnerable. This person um, wants you, wants to be with you and wants to be that support there for you. They want to be this masculine energy and protect you. So allow them to. I, I know it's very difficult, right? But this person, yeah, they, they want to be there for you. So they just need you to open up. And I feel like you're probably scared that if I told them what my family's like, they're crazy, what my kids are like, or what this, you know, we do that, right, in life. Like, ugh, when we first meet somebody, it was like, just a little white lie. Don't need to tell them about my family just yet. This person wants to know all of you, um, to know how to love you co correctly, right? They want to know, this is why they want to know your past. They don't want to use it against you. Temperance. They want to know all of you so they know how to love you correctly. This is your chance for something big in love. Okay, so with this union. So I would take it. I really would. This is your opportunity for somebody who wants to come in and love you right. Okay. Strength card. So we have... <laughs> Sagittarius card and the Leo card right as well <laughs> um but this is saying look sometimes being strong is comes from vulnerability 
right? If we're always so strong and we don't let people in, and then we complain that nobody's coming in, we have to let them in. So open your heart here to receive love. This union wants to happen. Three of Wands. It's coming. For some of you, a lot sooner than others of you. If you've just been through a breakup with somebody and you're seeing this message, um, it might be that you're the Seven of Pentacles waiting and have a long way to go on the journey. If you've already been waiting a long time or been single a long time waiting to meet somebody, this person's here. It's your time. It's your time for love here. So all this worrying is for nothing. It's for nothing. It's unfounded fear. Yes, you had to practice this patience. I get it. I do, um, because somebody's doing this, playing cool, calm and collected. But now we have this, right? And this. All saying, it's happening now. Good luck. <laughs>